Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is quite late for me to start filming a video. It is 5.30, which I guess isn't that late. I'm just not used to filming like when the sun is setting. I feel like I start filming like midday, but I'll get to that in a second. Also, I am doing so much right now as I'm filming, but I kind of have to film because I am running out of time. I currently have ravioli boiling, I have edible crystals in my dehydrator, and I have sourdough proofing in my oven, but I need to start to film this video because I am under a time restraint. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about other things and get to the point of this video. Which you see in the title, it is unboxing mystery boxes, bags of food, which is the case, but I'll explain a little bit now. Basically, I'm gonna be using an app called Too Good To Go, which I wanna say, this video is not at all sponsored. This was just an idea that I had because genuinely this app is awesome and and super fun and I love doing it in my own free time so I thought I would share it with you guys but this app is where like restaurants cafes coffee shops bakeries can list goodie bags of mystery items that are basically leftover food that would have been food waste or would have been thrown out but they're sold for really really cheap and just in the past like four to five months it came to LA which I was so grateful for because I'd known about it for the longest time it's like really big in a bunch of other cities not even just in the US like it's all around the world but it was not in LA and I was so excited for when I came here because it's just really, really cool. I think I'm gonna do like four different places throughout the course of this video and go to see what mystery vegan food items I get. There's not a ton of fully vegan places that are on the app in LA, so I don't have the biggest selection. There's like some vegetarian or like kind of plant-based restaurants, but I can't really go to them because I don't know what I'm gonna be getting in the bag and it might not be vegan. But we're gonna do our first one today and the reason why I'm starting to film so late is because they give you like a time slot. It's either like between 30 minutes or maybe an hour of when you can go pick it up. The first place, actually, let me look at my phone so I can show you the app. Um, I guess my camera just deleted a full clip or part of a clip. I don't think it was very long. But also, I'm not really sure what I missed because this is now like weeks later me seeing this. So me editing, I think all that I said was that I'm getting a mystery box from a bakery called Erin McKenna's Bakery. That is a gluten-free and vegan bakery. My camera just randomly midway shut off filming even though it says it's fully charged. So that was weird. Um, but anyways, I've gotten one goodie bag from them before and it was like this cup with different kinds of cake and different kinds of frosting all put together. And I got something else with it, but I kind of forgot what it was. Anyways, all the goodie bags seemed to range from about four to eight dollars, and this one was seven ninety nine. So definitely like the higher end of the goodie bags, but the bakery's kind of expensive in general, so I think it kind of matches up. So yeah, I don't really know what else I have to say. I think I'm gonna put my ravioli in my pot, and then I'm gonna eat my ravioli, and then we'll head out to Aaron McKenna's. I have just parked at Aaron McKenna's. It is 6.35, but it's five minutes into the window. As you can tell, it is dark, and the lighting is very, very, very bad in my car. I think I'm gonna go in, grab the goodie bag, drive home, and then unbox it at home. I just feel like it'll be a much better experience for all of us. You guys get to see it a lot clearer, so. Yeah, let's walk over and I'm so excited. I hope, I really hope I get something good. I just got this stuff and I'm very excited, but it's looking like a lot of food for what I paid for. Okay, I have made it back home and I finally get to taste my um, assortment of treats. I don't even know what it is, but I have a few things to say. First off, doing these when it's um, pastries is a little difficult because one, I don't like coffee anything. I will not like coffee anything. If it has coffee in it, I will not like it. And then second, chocolate is a hit or miss. Some chocolate things I do enjoy and some I don't hate, but they're just not my favorite. Here on top, we have two donuts, both of which I have tried. I've tried, I think, every single one of their donuts, but I'm not that upset about that. And then second, they gave me a mystery box, which I've also done videos just on their mystery box on TikTok as well. These you can purchase at the store. It's $15 of mystery items, same thing, food that would have gone to waste. But like I had mentioned earlier, Too Good To Go was only $7.99 and this is typically 15. I think the first donut is salted caramel. I could be wrong, but I feel like that is what it is. And the second one is it's like the chocolate dipped one. It just has an extra drizzle, but I don't think it's the coffee one. So that's a little bit better for me. Here is the salted caramel donut. Is very, very good. It tastes like a sugar cookie, honestly. A sugar cookie in donut form. But now let's try the chocolate one. Okay, honestly, I'm a little confused. I don't hate it because it's really not that chocolatey, which if you really like chocolate, I'm saying that I probably wouldn't recommend. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to the mystery box. I really, 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 really hope that I get one of their loaves in here. Their loaves are probably 
my favorite thing that they have. Oh my goodness, there is so much stuff in here. This was so much better than the last two good to go order I got from them. My um, request was answered. There are two different loaves, three chocolate chip cookies, two brownies, another one of the chocolate donuts. So I won't be retrying that because I just tried it. Um, but okay, let's get started with one of the loaves. I believe this is chocolate chip banana bread, which again, I wish that it was just plain banana bread, but I'm not that upset over it. I don't love that one. And honestly, it's not even because of the chocolate chips. The banana flavor is just not what I want in a banana bread. It's a little off. So I'm also gonna give that one a five out of 10, but now we're gonna try one of the chocolate chip cookies. I happen to love their chocolate chip cookies. I think the chocolate chip cookies are really, really, really good. Yeah, these are amazing. They're so buttery and they're soft, but the outside is like still a little bit crunchy. I highly recommend. Next we have two mini brownies and these I think I've had from them before. Yeah, this is good. I like it. I forgot to rate the chocolate chip cookie. I think I would rate that a 10 out of 10. Honestly, I don't think I want anything else in a chocolate chip cookie. These I'm gonna give a seven and a half out of 10. They're really good, but they're just not like something I would probably pick out. We have another donut, which I think is just like a vanilla frosted sprinkle donut. There is some chocolate residue, but that's just because everything's on top of each other in the box. But I can assume what this one's gonna taste like. Tastes like a typical sprinkles donut. And last but not least, we have one more loaf. Okay, this is definitely the lemon loaf, which smells really good. I don't know if the frosting is like strawberry or if it's supposed to be like a pink lemonade, but regardless, I'm excited to try it. Ooh, that's really good. Honestly, I ended up liking the, I guess not frosting, it's more icing kind of a bit more than the flavor of the cake itself. The icing is so lemony and so like fresh. And I think I would have to give that one an eight out of 10. Overall, I have such a high rating for this mystery box. I will, oops. There's even a whole other brownie I didn't even count for. There's three of the brownies. So we got one, two, three, four donuts, two loaves, three cookies, and three brownies. All for $7.99. I'll see you guys whenever I get my second Too Good To Go order. Hello, it is now time for Too Good To Go box number two. And today I'm going to a place in Long Beach because I'm at home visiting my parents right now and it is called Debbie's Donuts and Sweets, I believe. I could be a little bit wrong on that. So if I'm wrong, I'm gonna put the name on the screen, but it is a completely vegan donut shop and they make pretty good donuts and they have a Too Good To Go box. It is $5.99. I've gone once before for a box from them and I've gotten two donuts for $6. So not bad, but I'm hoping, you know, just like the Aaron McKenna's one that I end up getting a little bit more than I got last time. Not too far of a drive from here. The parking does kind of suck around the area. So I kind of need to head out because I only have a 30 minute window for this one as well. So let's head out and see what donuts I get. Got my donuts, heading back to the car, and then I'm gonna drive home. Okay, I've just made it back home. Here is the donut box. It is a little bit wet. This is the exact same box that I got my donuts in last time, and I only had two, but it feels a bit more full. I got four donuts this time. Sadly, two out of the four are chocolate, but that's kind of something that I'm expecting when I go get mystery desserts. Like chocolate is such a popular flavor. I mean, it's very unlikely that I'm gonna get a whole box of mystery stuff and not get chocolate. But I think I'm gonna start with it so I can get it over with and then just move on to the ones that I know that I'd like. This looks like a chocolate cake donut with chocolate frosting. So I'm gonna cut myself a, ooh. That's a really dense donut. I don't know if that's a good video, if that really shows you what I mean, but it's like, feels pretty tough. Here's what it looks like on the inside, and I'll try it. Um, it kind of tastes like nothing, if I'm being honest. I don't hate it, because it doesn't even taste that much of chocolate. Like, it kind of just tastes not like much. The donut itself is very bland. I don't know if it's actually chocolate or if it's just like a darker looking donut, so I assumed it was chocolate. The frosting tastes like chocolate frosting on a donut, but still, not that flavorful. We're gonna give that one a five out of 10. Second, we are moving on to another chocolate donut, but this one looks like a Boston cream donut and I love cream filled donuts. So, you know, hopefully I'm still gonna like it. Mm. 
That one's really good. I just like the cream in the middle. Eight out of 10. Now we have just a plain glazed donut, which some of it came off, but I am very excited for this. Despite them being plain, I think that glazed donuts, you know, beyond apple fritters, because apple fritters are just unbeatable. I think these are my favorite type of donut. Okay, that one's really tasty because it just tastes like sugar, but it doesn't have the same glaze as a typical glazed donut. It's definitely like more frosting-like, but it still isn't frosting. It does not taste like the vanilla frosting that you get on donuts. So I don't know, it's like kind of an in-between of a glaze and a frosting, but. Very good. I do prefer the glaze on a normal glazed donut, so I think I'm gonna have to give this one maybe an eight and a half out of 10. Then last but not least, we have some sort of berry donut. I don't know if it's just blackberry because there's a blackberry in the middle or if it's maybe like a mixed berry or raspberry with a blackberry in the middle. I don't know, we're gonna taste it and see what it is. I honestly can't tell. It just tastes like fruity. Well, not just fruity. I mean, it tastes definitely berry-esque. I just don't know what type of berry, so I'm gonna check their website. Oh, blackberry and raspberry. That one's good. I like fruity donuts. Like, I think they're very tasty. I would just never pick it. Like, I definitely go for like glazed, apple-y, cinnamon-y type of donuts before fruity. So $6 for four donuts, $1.50 per donut, and they're typically four bucks a piece. So, I mean, that's definitely a deal. Besides the first chocolate one, could not tell they were all a day past. The first chocolate one, maybe it's different because that one was supposed to be a cake donut and the other ones are like fried yeast donuts. I really don't know. The first one was just not great. I don't even know if I see like my family that enjoys chocolate like in that one, to be completely honest. And even if three were only good, three is still better than me getting two last time because the box was the same price, but I only got two donuts. Pretty tasty. I think the next place I'm gonna go to is a fast food restaurant, which I've gotten boxes from them twice. And I'll have to explain it when I see you guys next before I'm about to head out for that box, but it's definitely a little odd. Um, the way they do it, it's kind of funny. Hi, it is time for box number three, and this one was so incredibly difficult to get. We're going to a place called Honey Bee Burger today, which is just like a vegan fast food burger place. And they have boxes released from anywhere between 4 to 6 p.m. and they only release one a day and it seemed to sell out really 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 quick proven by the fact that I had five days of setting alarms like every 30 minutes between 4 and 6 p.m. five days straight to try to secure one of the boxes and I couldn't until finally yesterday I did and I was so 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 glad I felt bad I was hanging out with a couple friends and I had alarms going off throughout the entire time because I needed to go get this box and finally I got it and now we can go pick it up. This one was $3.99, and this place I have been to to get boxes from two, possibly three times. And the way that they do it is definitely a little bit different than all the other places I've been to. They don't give, for the most part, like made meals. They have given me basically a plethora of just random ingredients that they use at their restaurant, which I'm not necessarily complaining about. I mean, I've used all of them, they're all good, it's just, kind of odd. I've been given random boxes with just like a tomato, half a head of lettuce, a 12 pack of burger buns, and like a package of vegan cheese. I don't quite understand why, but I feel like it's always an adventure and always um, a very interesting time opening up the box. This place I actually really do like that they have a pickup window between 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. So I get six hours to do. A lot of the other ones are an hour or maybe even like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And I hope that I do get something pre-made. One time I did get some mac and cheese. I hope I get something because I'm a little hungry and it would be pretty nice if this could just be my lunch. I made it to Honey Bee Burger and I think for the first time I'm not on too busy of a street and the lighting is good that I can actually unbox it in my car. I'm like a block or so away and then I'll come back with my box or bag. Actually, I think it's in a bag the past times that I've gotten it and unbox it and I'm still hoping I get lunch. I really want lunch. <laughs> to go order? Okay. Yes, thank you. I've just made it back to the car and not saying that I've like looked in or know what's in the bag. However, there is one thing sitting on the top of the bag that um, 
it's kind of unavoidable and it definitely lines up with exactly the description I gave you guys of what this place gives. But I have this massive bag from Honey Bee. Um, there's, feels like there's quite a lot of stuff in here, but I don't know, I'm kind of excited. So I think I'm just gonna get started and First thing is a bunch of hamburger buns. However, these are different. The last ones I got had sesame seeds on them and these are just like plain burger buns. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight burger buns in here. So I'm definitely gonna be freezing these because I cannot eat eight burger buns before they go bad. That's what I did last time. And honestly, it's pretty nice to have some bread and burger buns in my freezer for whatever I wanted. So not too mad about this. Ooh. Is this a single meatball? I'm not even joking. I think I, I'm kind of scared of this. Um, at first I thought it was like an energy, like oat bite, but it smells like taco meat. It smells like a taco meatball. It's confused, um, okay. Next we have, once again, a tomato, like a perfectly ripe, great tomato. Sure, I'm excited, but also, I don't, I don't know, I guess like I'm just kind of confused about the way that they do things because I thought the point of the app was to get rid of food that didn't sell the day before, but I don't get how, unless they have like a giant excess of tomatoes, I don't know why they couldn't use this, but I mean, I'm gonna put it to use. Another random piece of iceberg lettuce wrapped in saran wrap. I'm kind of, I don't know how I feel about that one either. We got a lot of produce. We have a potato, a carrot, a jalapeno, a red onion. I think I have to make like a salad tonight or something. Okay, yep, I do have to make a salad because we also have an avocado. Looking in here though, it looks like maybe more pre-made food. Oh, we have some sauce, some orange sauce. It smells like some sort of cheese sauce. <gasps> that was so stupid of me. I didn't get any on my car though. Why did I do that? Um, cheese sauce, yum. Okay, we have some vegan cheese. This time it's not in a package and it's wrapped in more plastic wrap. And I'm kind of scared of that too. I don't, I don't know. Ugh. Okay, we have another taco meatball some pico de gallo this i will be eating i'm excited about that oh this is literally a ball of like beyond meat like raw beyond meat or maybe not beyond but you know some brand of vegan ground beef but like why why couldn't they cook this into a burger they're a burger shop Used. And then last but not least, we have the most minuscule container of mac and cheese. I don't know how I feel about this one. I would, I want to eat everything. I'm just a little fearful of some of it. I wish they just did a little bit of labeling so I wasn't as like confused as to what practically half of the ingredients or foods are. I've had their mac and cheese before and it's not great, it's not bad, but it's not that amazing. Pico de gallo sounds good, burger buns I'm happy about, I mean I got some random produce. I'm mainly... Oh no, there's two, I, I was wrong, there's only one taco meatball and two random like burger meatballs. These are the ones that I'm scared of. They look like cleanly packaged, but also just why? I don't know. I probably won't be back to Honey Bee to get another um, to good to go box, but I appreciated it and it was fun and it's always a mystery with Honey Bee. So I'll see you guys for my next one. I'm not sure where I'm going next. It honestly kind of depends on where and when I can get a box because it's already taken me like a month or three weeks or something of filming this video. I didn't really get lunch to eat. I got ingredients to make a lunch. So maybe I'll go home and do that. So see you for box number four. Hi guys. Oh wait, hold on. I mean, I must go. Never mind. Bye guys. 
Hi guys! <laughs> I am with my friend Brooke. I brought her along because we are now in Venice Beach and it was kind of a long drive so I thought I would just make a whole day out of it and like do other activities. Um, but we are at our final location for the Too Good To Go boxes and we are at a place. I know I'm really excited I'm actually. So excited. We are at a place called X Market don't know if any of my information's on there. Um, hopefully not. <laughs> Vegan pop-up by X Market Venice. It's like a grocery store, but it says pop-up. I think it's been here for over a year, so I don't know what pop-up means. Regardless. So, hope it's here when you are when you come. Yeah, you should come, honestly. It's a really cute, fully vegan grocery store, and she's never been, so oh, we're gonna I'm go so check excited. it out. I know. We might have to go pick up a few little things yeah. that aren't for the mystery box and if we do we'll do a haul of that yeah and um if there's one thing ashley and i love it's a stroll through a grocery store yes but this is even more fun mm -hmm. they have a cute little like i think maybe i was kind of quick in and out last time i came so i might be wrong but they have like a little outdoor like patio area where you can like order Ooh. out of food at a counter and go outside and eat mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. really cute. So we're gonna head in, get my mystery box, and we'll be back to eat whatever we get. And I'm hungry, so hopefully we get something of some substance. <laughs> So yeah, um, this part of the video is really awesome because for some reason my microphone just decided to stop working like completely. There is absolutely no audio in this clip. I don't know how that happened, but basically we're just going through all the snacks that I got and showing you guys what was in the mystery box bag thing. Um, so we got some seaweed. We got this like forager, cashew milk, kefir drink, and then some vegan ranch. But the weirdest thing about this bag is that it wasn't pre-bagged. Like we walked up and the guy just put random things in the store in my bag, but that was about it. Um, so here's my voiceover. Hi, it is actually like a couple days later. I have been so busy. I've not had time to sit down and film this, but I have not tasted anything. So it's still like a first time taste test. I don't have the seaweed. I actually did eat the seaweed, but I didn't think anyone would want a taste test of it because it was seaweed. Like it didn't taste any different than any other seaweed. So I don't believe I've tried any Forger brand. I mean, of course I've had a lot of Forger brand like products, but I don't think I've had this yogurt drink before, so. Oh my God, why? <laughs> that was so hard to open. <gasps> no chance. There's mold in it. That's awesome. Well, when is the expiration date? 323. They gave this to me expired? When did I go? Today's the 30th, I went on the 25th. I feel that they should not be giving out, I'll show you guys the mold in a second. I feel they should not be giving out already expired things, maybe things close to the expiration date. Give it to me two days after the ex, I'm so sad. Yeah, um, that's inedible, so that sucks. Hopefully I'm fine with this, when does this expire? It expired on the 14th? That's 11 days before I went. Should I eat this? I don't think the point of Too Good To Go is to give me already expired food. Please, if you think that I'm in the wrong, let me know. Um, but I just, this was expired 11 days before I showed up. It doesn't smell like it's gonna kill me. I'm doing this for you guys. So there's at least something to film about this place, but. I can't tell you if it tastes expired or not. It doesn't taste good though. Um, it's from the brand Organicville. I don't want to say this ranch is bad because it's also now like two weeks past the expiration date. That was an interesting way to end this video. I think the way to go overall is to stick to bakeries or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there are a lot of other good options that aren't just bakeries, but in my experience, the best boxes that I've gotten are from bakeries or like baked goods. I don't know. 
I'm just so disappointed by this. Sorry that you got no taste this at the end. I'm sad about it myself because I really wanted to try that kefir. I guess I'll just go buy myself a bottle of it now, but it's also eight and a half bucks, which is a lot. So overall, I still love the app. You just might have to go from place to place to kind of find out like what places give good boxes and what places are boxes that you might skip out on. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I think my next video might be me going to Hawaii, which is fun because I love filming there because there's so much fun food. So see you guys there and I love you guys and goodbye.